Hello everybody, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, in today's video, we'll be customizing the brand new 911 Dakar, which is pretty pricey if you ask me, but I'm really excited to see how this car will turn out. So, for specifications, we have 473 horsepower, which is quite a lot for what this car is ten intended to do. Uh, top speed of 149. And that's with summer tires, I'm guessing. And then 0 to 16, 3.2 seconds, which is pretty good. So anyways, let's go ahead and start uh, configuring this car. So it starts off all white. Uh, okay, so we have standard colors, and then we also have a black in the standard color. All right. The special colors, we have a shade green metallic. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Shark blue. Yeah, that looks nice too. Yeah. Uh, ice gray metallic. Mm, I see. Okay, that's pretty nice. And then we have a metallic color, which would be the silver. All right, it's just a bit darker. And then we have the rally design package. And that package will cost an extra $28,470. It will add the interior with stitching in shark blue, the rally design package in white and gentian blue, and it will remove what we currently have. So let's just accept it, see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I would have actually went for this either way, but I know that a ton of people will be going for this configuration. So uh, I'm not too sure if I want to do this, go with this way, or if I just go ahead and do a shade green metallic like this. Or we have a paint to sample even. Okay. Okay, it's only available at the dealerships. Uh, moving on to the wheels. We only have one option for wheels, but we can choose different faces. See what they will look like in white. All right, looks pretty nice in black. Okay, options. Uh -huh, this is for the rally design. Okay, and wheels painted in a Vesuvius gray. Hmm. This looks really. I like this one. So do that. Wheel accessories we can put summer tires on, but I don't think that's a necess that's necessary. Uh, titanium wheel bolts, which is an extra eighteen hundred dollars, <laughs> which is insane. We're not gonna do that. And then for the interior, we can choose an interior color. Let's see the interior. That looks really nice. As usual, I really like it. So interior we have leather race text. So we have currently have some kind of combination with the black and shade green stitching, which can be visible on the seats here. Or we can put the rally design package interior with stitching in shark blue. Of course, if we do that, we'll have to put the package in. So we'll just keep it like this. Moving on to the seats, we're gonna have full bucket seats and sport seats, which of course, we'll just keep them at the bucket seats. All right, anyways, we can have the, the packages. We can of course include the exclusive packages for this car. We're not gonna do that. Um, we can do a personal start number. We'll do that. And we need to add the rally design, of course. Carbon fiber roof, sure. Protective film, that would be smart, yeah. Uh, we'll do the extended mirror upper housing in carbon fiber and lower trim base in high gloss black. Window triangle trims in carbon fiber, we'll do that. 
Uh, we can do the 911 Dakar underdoor puddle light duck with the projectors. It's not necessary. Oh, we can even do older decal sets. Okay, let's see how this actually looks. Ooh, this is very... I didn't even know these were options. This is cool. You can totally personalize this car to however you would like. Let's remove this one and see how this one... Yeah, this one's looking really nice. I like this kind of more simplistic. Let's see this one. That looks cool. Hmm. Now I don't know which one to get. I really like this one. It kind of shows off these curves to the car, if you think about it. Goes with the arches, the hood, the door waves, and then the rear quarter. I really like I'll keep it with this one here. Because it, it looks cool. I really like it. Uh, we can do the model designation on rear and then exterior color. Or we can do the deletion, which is what I went for because it makes sense. Uh, we can do an 8 speed. Transmission or PDK. Eclus exclusive design tailpipes in silver. Let's see how that looks. Mm, I'll keep them in black. Brake calipers in high gloss black. What are they now? Oh, they're red. I'll keep them in red. And then we can have surround view. And we can even put a dash cam, which is what I'll do. And for the interior upgrades, we can do an ionizer, which I think would be smart for this car. Since this car will be, is a bad car, so it technically it should be off-road a lot. And with an ionizer, it will keep your interior nice and fresh. Heated GT Sport steering wheel and leather. Now we don't need that. Uh, these bespoke key options. Seat belts in racing blue, red, silver, gray. Now we don't need any of those. I'd rather keep them black. Central tachometer. We can do it in white. Then guards red. Uh, let's see. I might go with the guards red. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. And the sport chrono to match it. Yeah, it looks cool. Fire extinguisher, I think, would be a must in this car. Interior leather material. We can do extended leather or central console lid with a Porsche crest. So, steering column casing in leather. Steering column casing in leather ICW memory package. Bespoke logo on center console lid. That'd be cool. So we can put whatever we want, so might as well just put my, like that, there we go, nice, that looks kind of cool. And we'll have three fonts, I'll put in the middle, uh, we'll do the Porsche text, but I think it looks the neat, the best. Let's put bold, yeah, I'll keep it like that, in the middle, and we'll save that. That looks kind of cool. I, I like that. Those little touches. Uh, personalized floor mats with leather edging. Bespoke floor mats with leather edging. Uh, we'll do this one. See what the options are. So we can do the leather. Uh, this logo area. Like this. Or we can change it to black. Like this. And then like this. I like this one. So starting... Ooh, okay. First digit, three, five, six. I'll do seven, 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 because that's like a lucky number for a lot of people. I'm just trying to personalize this to how I would have it. I'll do that in a nice reddish kind of shade. Yeah, I think that would look good. I'll keep them in black. Leather edging would be also in black. And 
decorative stitching also in black, but okay, yeah. I'll keep those, actually. Right. No, we'll keep it in black. Actually, we also have an extra here. We can put our own text, but I like this. Now we can do two numbers. Two. I'll do it like this. All right. All right, so moving on, we can go to the air vent surround in leather. And air vent slats painted. Right, let's see how that would actually look. So, uh-huh. So they get painting it painted in the body color. Oh, I won't do this option. Air vent surround and air vent slats in leather. So you can do the whole thing in leather. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. Sun visors and leather. I don't think I'll go for that since the roof is technically race text or what however you call it, so it'd be nice to tie it in with the sun sun shades with that. And then if there's like leather. We'll kind of disrupt it. Sport seats, we don't have those. The bespoke keys, extended door panel, which I do not know. Uh huh. Okay, I'll do that. But it adds more stitching down below. We'll do the carbon fiber inlays. What's the difference? Oh, it's the leather one. Okay. Mm, I'll keep it with the race text. 9-11. Door sills with bespoke. So we can just choose again what we can want to do here. Ooh. Or we can put our own. I love this. This silhouette is really cool. I'll put it in white. Right front, we'll do the same. Save that. We can do carbon carbon fiber floor mats with leather edging. We don't need that, of course. Interior aluminum, no thank you. Burmester high end surround sound system, of course. Sound is always important. And the delivery experience, I'll just choose. This one here. And yeah, here it is. The final product of what I've created. I think it looks really good. The wheels definitely go with this uh, shade gray or green or whatever this color was. I can't remember. And then this livery just ties in with all the body lines and the brake calipers. It looks really nice. And so. For our final configuration price, we are at $262,030. The car started at $222,000. So we've added an over $40,000 worth of options, which is just insane. And so yeah, here's like the whole spreadsheet. Looks really nice. And yeah, it's pretty much it for this video. This was a lot, a lot of stuff to do in this video, and uh, I'm very happy with the outcome. So thank you guys for watching another video. If you have any suggestions of what car I should do next, please let me know. And thank you for watching, and have a great day. And so see you next time. Goodbye.